How about a drink? <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? My name is Grizzly. Welcome back to another League of Legends video. Today I'm gonna make a singed gameplay video. I'm basically gonna go through a game which I just played and I played versus Ayasu in lane and I thought I would show you guys like my thought process, what I was doing, um, what I wanted to accomplish in the game and stuff like that. So against Ayasu, um, you have to be pretty careful early on in my opinion. Yasuo deals a lot of damage early game, but as you can see here I managed to get the push before he can contest the wave. I basically make sure I kind of proxy it, but not behind the tower. So I get the push advantage and if you get the minion advantage early game even though he has better trading than me as you can see there He can't really do much because he has to farm the creeps up So the goal in this matchup is to pretty much just shove Yasuo under lane and this is the same for many of singed matchups Basically as long as you can shove the opponent constantly with your Q because it's one of the best pushing abilities in the game It's not really much they can do to counterplay it They basically have to force an all-in into minions and that can be very dangerous versus Singed because he can so easily kite them But here as you can see I get level 3 ganked by Lee Sin I had a ward placed but I just didn't see it in time it was entirely my bad But uh, here I TP up to lane again and as you can see he has not backed He's actually playing with Ignite this game so he wanted to grid for the next wave And here I'm gonna try to look for an all-in here, so I level 3 here, and I will take an extra point in my Q to deal more damage. I managed to flip him pretty close to the tower, he does take a tower shot, he ignites me here, I dodge one of his Qs there, very important, otherwise I would have 100% died there, and then I get the kill. I basically wanted to go for that risky all-in, because if I don't, I feel like I'm very behind, and I'm pretty certain that I can at least like dodge something from Yasuo, so I managed to dodge one Q, and that was enough to secure that all-in win, which is really huge for me, because now I get to shove this wave into his tower, and since he does not have TP, he will lose a lot of creeps, so... That was a huge success. Now here, Lee invades our jungle, and we wanna make sure that we try to chase him down here. Our SRL has double bus here, as you can see, so I'm gonna try to W Lee Sin so he can't ward jump away. Uh, and then here we go to Furyasu, I fling him into SRL because he can't really kill him, SRL's double buffs. Here I just try to stay on top of Yasuo, get my Q damage on him, and he goes down. So this is really good, the wave is slow pushing to me, but I still wanna shove this into the tower, because as I said before, Yasuo doesn't have teleport, so I'm pretty sure I can get this into the tower, and then recall, and then reset the lane. So, I'm just gonna shove here, as you can see, I have quite a bit of a CS lead here, so that's quite good. You push really fast the scene, so that's really good. As you see there, Fist dive Lee Sin, not much I could do. Basically, I just wanted to shove the wave, I didn't have to pay attention to that, really. I saw he was dying, but um, there was nothing I could do to help, but it ended up working out really well, so. So here I'm back to lane again, I bought myself a Ruby Crystal and an Amplifying Tome. I basically want to rush um, Rylai's Crystal Scepter in this matchup. I believe that is a really good rush item on Singed. Some people go Righteous Glory, but I overall prefer Lyondris or Rylai's. So, as you can see here, I do a lot of damage to him in trades now. I have a lot of APE actually, and as you can see I'm running Aerie, so that really um, increases my early game damage by a whole of a lot, so... So now Yasuo's in a really bad position here. I have uh, some pots left here in this lane, and... Uh, I'm basically really strong at this point. I'm gonna go for a fling here, gonna shunk him down. I take two tower shots there, I could have just taken one, but I kind of walked in a weird path. But why I'm doing this is because Fist is coming around to dive this, actually. So I just wanted to get Yasuo low enough so that Fist safely could just kill him. I don't have to do anything here, Fist has this 100%, so Yasuo even wastes his ignite there, so that's even better for us. So that's actually huge. So now I'm gonna shove this wave again, as you can see, Singe clears waves extremely fast, so it's just really easy once you get an advantage in lane to just snowball by constantly shoving waves so fast, because if you're a champion that is like, um, not that good at shoving, let's say for example Fiora without Tiamat, um, it's really hard even if you get kills with ganks and stuff to really punish the opponent by shoving the wave into tower, but with Singed it's so easy to just reset waves and get really good waves for yourself and stuff like that, and that's one of the advantages of playing the champion right now. 
So as you can see, uh, Yasuo has a wave that's pushing into me here, so I'm gonna look to punish him if he walks up for the creeps. I'm basically just zoning him at this point. Uh, now I'm gonna walk up to him, get my Q on him. It's really important for trade patterns into Yasuo that you proc his, um, you proc his passive shield without using your E, because that way you won't waste that much damage from it. It's better to just walk up and let your poison tick like one time to remove the shield, and then you E, because what happens otherwise is that he gets full value out of his shield, and you don't want that to happen, so make sure that you proc his uh, shield before you use your main damage abilities if you play versus Yasuo as any champ in general. Okay, so here as you can see I'm pushing him in, I'm putting down a ward here, even if I get if I get gank here I still have flash and ultimate so they won't be able to kill me here. So I'm gonna look to try and see if I can harass Yasuo and stuff like that. So I'm basically shoving in, him in, there's not much he can do. If he walks up I'm very sure at this point that I can kill him. Um, since just a lot of all in power and Yasuo is very vulnerable if he's not close to minions and even if he is, I, if I get a dub, good W, he can't even dash, so then he's just um, really screwed in that position. So as you can see here, I have a lot of pressure top side. I wanted to show this like uh, extended clip because I wanted to show you guys what to do with Singed if you're ahead because you, you don't really want to freeze the lane as Singed, you want to make sure that you you perma push the opponent, make them really scared. I could go for a proxy here, but since I think that I can kill him, it's not really worth because I don't want to take the extra minion damage. I'm gonna go for a dive, get the poison on in there, I flash the auto there, and I basically get a kill there. It was pretty close, I it was at about 150 HP, but I was very certain that I could make that dive happen, so... Probably could have done it a little bit cleaner though, but you want to make sure that when you change, chase people as singed, you don't want to weave in autos because you want to make sure that you have the poison uptime. So you go to proxy the wave, this is very risky, if their jungler is here, uh, obviously I die here, uh, and he is, so spoilers, I'm dead. But um, overall, uh, I would say that's, that play is not worth going for if I don't have the information there. It was just a very greedy play on my part, but now I can have a realize, so that's good at least. So here I come back to lane, the wave is pushing to me again because I reset the wave before I died there because I proxied the last wave, so the wave went into tower. And now I can just uh, all in Yasuo really hard here. He's gonna flash here and I'm gonna try to chase him. I know he's around here, but I can't really see him, so I don't know where he went actually. He must have like sneaked up into the lane or something, I'm not sure, but he got out anyways. Maybe he flash yuked me there. But basically, once you finish Ryalize and you're ahead of Singed, there's like nothing the enemy can do once you once you reach them, uh, because they, they can't really get out, like, it doesn't matter what champ they are, you will chase them down all of the time, so as long as you're ahead, I would actually really recommend Ryalize as your starting item, and in my opinion, even when you're, like, not very snowball, it's still really good. So here, uh, they're overextending bot quite a bit, they're diving my bot lane here, so I'm gonna, uh, since I'm very tanky here, I'm gonna try to go in 1 versus 4 here and just apply a lot of um, Q damage and just apply a lot of pressure in this fight in general. So as you can see, they all collapse on me here, but I get a lot of poison damage on them and I actually barely survive and we kill all of them. And I got like so much damage in that fight, it was absolutely unreal. I had my Q ticking on four people at the same time and that's like the dream I singed. So here I walk up top lane again. As you can see, Yasuo can't do much to me at this point, even when he's like quite far back in the lane. If he just like, um, if he goes into my W range, I can basically just W him and run into him, and he can't really get away. As you can see here, there's like nothing he can do. He's slowed, and I'm just on top of him, applying my Q damage, and it's enough to kill him very easily. So, yeah. Okay, so here uh, in the bot lane, as you can see, I'm trying to force fights now because I've already stomped top lane so hard. So here Alistair is chasing me, uh, and I just want to make sure that we don't like die here because we have uh, Ezreal top lane. But here Alistair walks up too far, so I fling him, get a lot of damage from him, he chases me, and Saya here actually doesn't seem to notice that she's taking a lot of damage from my poison. Uh, Yasuo walks into my poison there, he dies as well to my dot and the fist ultimate. I flash to fling Saya to get the triple. I basically apply a quick dot there on Brand, I get him as well, that was quite lucky that I got that kill, and now I chase down this scene and my teammates are spam missing piggy because what the hell is going on since just got a penta kill <laughs> like i don't know about you guys but i'd like generally only get pentas with like hard reset champions such, such as like darius or katarina or stuff like that but getting a penta with a singe i don't know i don't think i've ever done that before so that was quite funny indeed and we had astral splitting that entire time so that's huge for us so here we will try to finish off this tower. I don't want to be too close to Alistar here, obviously, because I'm really low. I'm gonna regen some with red buff, now I'm gonna go for the tower, because he seemed to be focusing Thresh here. And then we're going for the kill on Alistar, and I get an unofficial Hexa kill. Now that's insane. Okay, so now we're in a really good position, and I'm obviously super ahead right now. It doesn't really honestly matter what we do at this point, but... My team inted a bit there, but we got the top inhib, and um, the bot inhib is open. 
so it's quite e easy for us to take. Here I'm gonna try to chase down Alistar, as you can see I get the fling while he headbutts me, that's quite a fun interaction. <laughs> now as you can see there's like no way for him to escape, when he's slow by my cube there's like nothing he can do to get out of melee range, I just, I just kill him. It's quite a sad death for Alistar there honestly, and as you can see here the inhib is really low, I think my teammates tried to go for this when they died, so I'm just gonna finish it off here. Um, and now I, <laughs> I smell blood here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go for the heroic play, I think I got a bit ahead of myself after that pentakill, so, because I can't really explain my thought process here. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I just in there, it was quite unlucky. I got a lot of damage done though, so it will look good on the sharks after the game at least. So as you can see, we're pushing in for the win here, guys. Um, we have gotten all of their inhibs, I think, um, so there's not much they can do here. Just gonna try to get some extra CS, my team is diving them in the Nexus, basically the game is over at this point, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I wanna do more of these commentaries where I go over the highlights of the game, kind of. Uh, if you guys like this format, please tell me in the comments, because I really do listen to you guys' opinion. Um, but other than that, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.